EA Sports. It's in the game. Everybody, this is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Today's game will probably feature a lot of running because the forecast calls for snow in this battle between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Buckeyes. The Fighting Irish believe that they're the better team. Who are you taking in this one, Herbie? Notre Dame is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. Yo, Kirk, you stole my pick. This one's for you, Kirk. I'm going with Ohio State. Pre-game festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He sends it off. Number five has it at the five. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Okay, guys, we talked before the game about the type of impact that this quarterback has to have for his team to be successful. What do you expect from him today? Big things, my friend. I think this kid is going to have a pretty good game. I don't know, Coach. What do you mean you don't know? He's going up against some really good secondary, and these corners are good. I don't think it matters, Kirk. As long as this kid gets decent protection, he'll find his receivers and get the job done. They line up at the 30. So it's second and 10. Drops back to pass. He'll dump it short. Catches it. And he's tackled at the 31. They couldn't get much out of that one. I loved how that defense just swarmed their ball the second it was thrown. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 31-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He steps up. Broke away from one. Going deep. And he can't hang on to it. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. 
Notre Dame ready to put this one away. Number 82 will be the return man. The defense jumped, but I think a lineman moved first. Outside. Only Still fourth down. Pump this one away. Punts the ball away. Number 82 fields at the 29. Now the offense will come out and see if they can't get an early lead on their first drive. Take over at the 30. Ohio State in a five wide set. On the goose. On the goose. Cut. On the reverse. Takes off a tackle. They bring him down in the backfield. And they're going the wrong way, coach. Hey, Brad, if you don't have offensive balance, you can't keep the defense off of you. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Buckeyes line up with three wide. He looks. He lets it go. Complete. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. About three yards on the play fake. It's third down. The Buckeyes have five receivers on this play. Looks to pass. He jukes. He keeps it. Tackle at the 37. Nine-yard pickup. Ohio State lining up the punt. Number 23 is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away. Number 23 takes it at the 21. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. They forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. Notre Dame lines up with a split backfield. And he's going to be sacked. Got a second and long. Ball on the 17 yard line. They come out in a nickel. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He throws it. Incomplete pass. Number 23 was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up third down. From their own 17 yard line. Here's a third and long situation. The Irish set up in the gun. Look at the throw. Steps up, feeling the pressure. And they couldn't hook up on that one. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punch. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 43 awaits the snap. He punts it. Signals for a fair catch. Well, the offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive. Let's see if they can do a little bit better here. Right, 
The offense will start at the 44 yard line. The Buckeyes go with the eye formation. Setting up play action. He lets it go. But so the only man between him and the end zone makes the tackle. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely right. The reason why this play worked is that the play action throws the defense just enough to allow the receiver to get open. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ohio State comes to the line with three wide. And they'll get him in the backfield. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Second and 14. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Here's the option left. Laterals back. That was well defended by this defense. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive line? They're good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. From the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket, rolls right, throws it deep downfield, and it falls incomplete. Hello, sweetum. Now that's how to break up the pass. That one had completion written all over it, but the young man on defense delivered a good enough hit to knock the ball loose. He sure did. There was no way he was going to let that receiver catch that one. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number 31, back deep to return. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 27 signals for a fair catch. And they'll down it at the eight-yard line. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. So they'll start this drive at the eight. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Here they come. He's looking for his man. Got it. And they finally push him out at the 36-yard line. He threw a bullet in there. Oh, he sure did. We've already talked about his arm strength, but what really impresses me are his mechanics. His passing motion is so fluid. From their own 36-yard line. First down. The Irish line up with five receivers. Number seven lines up with five wide out. He looks to throw on first down. Throwing right, and it's caught. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. It's second and five here. Ball on the 41. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. The defense lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? Second down and a couple feet. Rolls to the right. Rolls. That's incomplete. Number three was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third down. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. They line up at the 46. Third down, less than a yard. Notre Dame lines up in a goal line set. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Throws it. Caught. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of about two. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Number 82 is back to receive. He punts it. 
Number 82 fields it at the 22. Gets past the tackler. And that was a pretty good return. One thing I noticed, guys, is this man is quick. Did you see how he hit that opening? Yeah, when he saw that hole, -ah, he ran right through it. I thought he had a good chance to go all the way there. They'll take over at the 49-yard line. Number two is back in the gun. He drops back, throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. Excellent open field tackle. Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, let me tell you the reason why this play worked. The defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback. And he made them pay right there. First and ten. Ball on the 32. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. Toss makes a move. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That blitz was coming pretty hard that time, Kirk. There was just nowhere for the running back to go. Great penetration by this defense. From the 34-yard line. Second and 12 coming up here. Ohio State comes out with five receivers. He's looking to pass. Stepping up. Sack for a loss at the 40-yard line. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ohio State comes out in the shotgun. Under pressure, number two lets it fly. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. No, that Kirk, he was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Number 31, the return man. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Signals for a fair catch. Sail down the punt at the 10-yard line. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll go to work at the 10. The Fighting Irish line up in an I formation. Here's the give, and he takes a big hit at the 10-yard line. Not a very good run there. Kind of is a tough play to defend, but it's also a tough play to run. If everyone isn't in sync, then you get a result like this last play. From their own 10-yard line, it's second down and 10 to go. go with the fullback. Brought down at the 13-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback. It's third and seven. Ball on the 13. The Irie come out with split backs. He passes it. And that one's fallen incomplete. Well, the defense stood tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. The Fighting Irish are lining up to punt it away. Number 82 is back deep to return the punt. Punts the ball away. Number 82 takes it at the 49. The defense did a good job against him the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. Number one lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Looking to throw. 
He steps up, throws short, in and out of his hand. Kurt, well is that? He just drops it, coach, plain and simple. That was an abominable drop. Abominable? Yeah, I'm not sure what it means, but it just sounds bad. <laughs> Second, Second and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. The Buckeyes line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. He throws. Catches it. Well, they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Here's third down. Four yards to go. The Buckeyes come out in the shotgun. They hand it off. There's a missed tackle. And down he goes at the 22-yard line. And a big run on third down. Good job there by the offensive line, allowing the runner to get some good yardage. Lee, as you know, anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. First and 10. Number one is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Number two with a bullet to the left. And it's complete for the touchdown. The quarterback threw a pretty ball there for the touchdown. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab, too. So they're ready for the extra point. And he converts the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Ohio State, seven, Notre Dame, nothing. Number 20 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks off. Number 23 fields it at the three. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. Notre Dame takes the field, looking to tie it up before halftime. Notre Dame lines up in a shotgun set. First down, look at the throw. He unloads it. Got him on the run at the 40. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Irish. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They designed plays specifically for him. It's the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Notre Dame, seven, Ohio State, seven. This one away. Number three and number seven back ready to return. And this one's a short kick. Number three fields it at the 17. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Look at the power. What a run. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They'll go to work at the 49. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back on first down. Let's it go. It's complete. Knocked out of bounds. 
at the 43-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. From the 43-yard line, it's second and two. Steps up, tosses short. This one is incomplete. Number 82 was the intended target. That'll make it third down. They line up at the 43. Third down and two to go. Ohio State lines up with three receivers. Here's the option. Breaks one. Tackle at the 35. The Buckeyes call a timeout, and they've got two remaining. First down, 10 yards to go. And they have three bunch. Play fake. Rolls to the left. He's going left. Complete. What a catch. He's knocked out of bounds at the 16. A flag was thrown during the tackle, and I think everybody in the stadium saw that face mask. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. After the distance for the spot of the foul. It looked like he was holding on for dear life there, Coach. He'll pay for it, too. 15 yards and some lip from his coach. They're inside the 20. They line up in an eye. He's looking to pass. Throwing left. And this one falls incomplete. He overthrew the intended receiver. Oh, boy. They take a shot here at the end zone, and he just let that one get away from him. From the 8-yard line. Second down. Number one, the lone back. Drops back to pass. And now he's gonna run. Touchdown, Buckeyes. So he couldn't find any receivers and just took off and ran it in himself. Brad, you're absolutely right. Excellent job of coverage there, but they forgot about one guy. That's why the quarterback is so dangerous in college football. He can kill you running the football. They're setting up for the PAT. He makes the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Ohio State 14, Notre Dame 7. Ohio State is lining up to kick this one off. Number 23 and number five back deep to return. He sends it downfield. Number five takes it at the eight. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. It's first down. Notre Dame lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. He's going right. It falls incomplete. Number 23 was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. The Irish come out showing three wide. He throws it. He snags it. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Number 18 is slow to get up, and he might be hurt. Right. 
It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. The Buckeye bring in the nickel package.